Welcome back to the channel, Toon VX. How y'all doing, man? How y'all feeling? Hey, man, we back. Live in effect. You know what it is, man. Hey, man. We about to watch. You know what I'm saying? My boy Shannon. You know, he been in the news lately. <laughs> Everybody been taking shots at my boy. Shay Shay. <laughs> so, you know, Eddie Griffin, you know, he, he coming out on now. So, about to see what he talking about. Y'all stay tuned, man. Back to Eddie Griffin. We also got an update with Eddie Griffin because he had responded to the backlash he was receiving, and I would like to highlight that as well. So be sure to stick around after the clips. Don't click off the video. So with that being said, guys, let's revisit the clip of Eddie Griffin dissing Shannon Sharp live on stage, similar to how Mike Epps had dissed Shannon Sharp. the light button, man. Scrub, man. Him, Mr. Potato Head. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, cat. Then he said, uh, what did he say? Uh, Cedric looked like a walrus. Exactly. You know that nigga Disappeared. I called Cat on the phone and said, nigga, you better be on the lookout for smiling. That nigga wants to come smile. The cry wants the one to get you. He's smiling, nigga. I said he might show up with a dress on. <laughs> there you go. Gay gay. I don't give a that nigga gay nigga. That nigga sitting there with them t his hands on, with his balls and all of them cat's face. And you remember the cat kept looking the other way. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 uh yeah, uh, you can tell how that nigga drink that he's gay nigga. He come on saying, now, now, cat. No, nah, he do be. <laughs> now, now, cat. So, bro, he definitely be like that, bro. That don't no nigga drink like that. Okay, that's Eddie Griffin. This is Shannon Sharp on stage. Shannon Sharp and Ocho, they have responded to it. Let's check out that clip right here. Before I highlight the clip, guys, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Y'all know what it is. Y'all hear it. Hey, this subscribe button. I know y'all brothers made up, but it must be said. Shannon getting this sensitive over comedians cracking jokes about him in the workplace. Uh, work is truly sad. Context is everything. Okay. Start, Chris. I get it. Moved on. <laughs> I mean, that, that's, that. What they, hey, that's what they want to do. Fine. Have at it. I'm done. But like I said, I gave my sister my word. Mm -hmm. I'm moving on, but she told me something. Back, like I said, I told my sister today. I sent her, uh, sent her something, and she's she picked up the phone immediately. Yeah, she said, "Shannon, what did Grady always tell us?" Mm -hmm. She said, "Boy, lie or die." Yeah. She said, "Shannon, at some point in time, you're gonna have to learn. You can't fight the devil every day because mm -hmm. you'll fight a never-ending war. Mm -hmm. Pick and choose the battles you want to fight." This ain't one you should want to fight. Mm -hmm. People going to let them say whatever. No, you right, man. Shit. Right. And you they know, get money, man. Don't worry about it. You know what, what they're doing now Shit. is that they found out that Shannon is the hot thing. They're using the same joke. But at some point in time, it's going to get old and people going to get tired of y'all saying that Shannon gay and Shannon this. And you're going to have to get back to telling jokes. Mm. Now, please tell me you're not running out of jokes. As Colonel Jessup said, please tell me you ain't pinned these two Marines on phone calls and toothbrushes. Please tell me. Please tell me you're not going to use Shannon as your punchline for the next three, four, five years. You're going to have to start telling jokes. Please tell me you got jokes. 
Yeah. <laughs> Shannon said they using his name for clout. So, Starcraft, I appreciate that. You can see Shannon Sharp was pretty much saying that he's not going to be addressing nobody anymore because at the end of the day, these comedians is looking for clout now because, like he said, they all using similar jokes. I mean, he so, is in the, in the news, man. Trending. These guys should just move on with it, you know? Write some different jokes. It's a better material, and he hopes and he doesn't be their material because, you know, Shannon Sharp, he obviously is a fan of comedy. You know, he's been interviewing people for four years now. And it's not like he's just all of a sudden trying to tap into interviewing comedians like I see a lot of other people are starting to do now. And I hate how his detractors are now trying to box his platform in to like a beef platform. But they wasn't saying that four years. Yeah, man, that's pretty much it. No, man, y'all. I mean, but what he was saying is, is you know, it is right. Like, yeah, you know, Shannon, he's been in the news lately. he been trending and stuff. he been having great interviews and stuff. So, you know, but, you know, it's good people got your name in, in, in their mouth. So, man, that's a good thing. Like he said, shit, you already know you in motion. It shouldn't even bother you, man. Like, shit, you already know it. Yeah, man. But that shit was funny. That nigga Eddie was on point, like the, with the mannerisms. That's how he do be on the interview when he be drinking this shit. That shit funny, y'all. But yeah, man, y'all hit the like button, y'all hit the subscribe button, and yeah, man, we be back. Out, out.